Darren Aronofsky's 3.141592653589732384626443. I swear that guy never shuts up. How's it going there guys? Dave Nader here, and today I have another movie review for you. Now today I'm reviewing Darren Aronofsky's Pie, which was released in 1998, and it's a very low budget movie, and it was Darren Aronofsky's directorial debut, as I recall. And of course this is Pie Day that I'm recording this video on, so I had to do it. This movie is about a character named Max. Now he's a mathematician, he's a very tech savvy guy, and he's trying to determine a pattern in the stock markets. And he's never had proof that it's there, but he believes that literally everything in nature can be described through numbers and graphs, and you can find a pattern in that, as long as you graph it. And so he's convinced that there's got to be some kind of a pattern in the stock market, despite the fact that his older friend, who back like 30 years before was heavily working on pi, because you know he was a mathematician too, he's telling him, nah, just don't even worry about it, you're overworking yourself, you're thinking too hard of this, you're trying too hard to see patterns where there aren't any, but Max doesn't listen, and he continues, and goes on sort of a weird, surreal psychological journey, and the movie goes on from there, and this is definitely a strange movie, most certainly by design, this movie definitely takes some cues from let's say David Lynch movies like Eraserhead. I mean, this movie is in black and white, kind of like Eraserhead, but anyways, I'm not just gonna spend time comparing that to other movies. I really enjoyed this movie, just based on the visual style alone. This movie is really, really impressive to look at. I mean, this Darren Aronofsky's directorial debut, man, I mean, he couldn't have done a much better job than this, especially on the ridiculously low budget of, I believe, $60,000. The, there are some definitely some interesting shots in this movie, and I also like the black and white aesthetic that definitely helps the cool look of the movie. It kind of, sort of reminded me of film noir at times, even though this isn't really a film noir, but it just kind of reminded me of that, maybe just because of the virtue that's black and white. Uh, but just the way this movie's edited, the way the editing just conveys certain messages and themes and images is really cleverly done, and it's very interesting. This movie is paced very well too. It's like 80 minutes and it just flies by and despite the fact that this is most certainly not an action movie, it's pretty exciting and it just really, like the plot gets going right away and it really gets you into it. There's also some nice music in the movie, you know, it's kind of, there's um, definitely a techno uh, kind of vibe in the music. It reminded me of The Matrix, for instance. And I don't necessarily generally listen to that music on its own, but it very much so worked for the style of this movie. And there's also some very cool use of musical cues in the movie that is really creepy, like this sound of uh, water droplets, or is it water droplets? I'm not going to go any more into that. If you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. But that, um, that use of music, uh, very, very, blah, did a very good job of increasing the tension in that particular scene. Again, getting close to the spoilers, so moving on from that, the acting in this movie is really good. The main character, Max, he's a complete douchebag. Uh, he really is. However, despite the fact that characters like him, especially main characters, even if they're supposed to be designed that way, that's just the nature of the plot that they're in, still characters like that just really oftentimes take away from my enjoyment of the movie. I'm like, wow, I hate this guy. But, for whatever reason, it completely and utterly worked for me here. I mean, his performance was great, his delivery of the dialogue was great, and the journey that he goes on in this movie was very interesting, and for some reason, I just, I was just very fascinated with the character in this movie. I thought he was very well handled, very interesting, and also, I'm not going to talk too much about other characters in this movie because I think I could quickly accidentally delve into just straight up spoiler territory if, if I went into that, but let me just say, the other characters in the movie are interesting and they complement the story very nicely. The dialogue is very well written in this movie, and you certainly have to pay attention because the story is pretty complex. I mean, it's called the movie's called Pi. You know, it's obviously it's a number with a whole lot of digits, and math is just completely infused in the plot as you would expect it to be. There's a lot of numbers. There's a lot of techno babble, and um, you know, so you definitely you kind of got to pay attention as the plot goes along. Sort of like with say a movie like Primer. Um, you know, just so pay attention, but it's really well handled. It's just a very well put together movie. It's really entertaining and interesting. There's some pretty haunting imagery. 
you know, it just affected me at times. It's really, really good movie, and I like it more and more the more I think about it. And so if you can handle a sort of, sort of surrealist, David Lynch-inspired type movie with very odd imagery and kind of a complex story, if you're down for something like that, I would definitely recommend checking it out. I'm going to give Darren Aronofsky's Pie an A, and I definitely do plan on watching this movie again probably a few more times very soon. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, please rate and comment and subscribe, and if you want to, you can also share, and happy Pi Day!